They're saying that in a four-month period um, that I believe was around January. Ended in January. Ended right. in January. So. Um, Commander bit seven different <laughs> times, seven people. Um, how unusual is this? How concerning is this? And how could this go under the radar for so long? I can't comment specifically on the situations. I wasn't there. But if you think of the complexity of the White House, I mean, you have thousands of staffers walking around. You have people everywhere. You have uh, you know individuals with weapons and guns hanging from it. This is it's 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 extremely hard to train a dog to be to be you know normal in that situation and not react. You know, there, in my opinion, there's no bad dogs. They just they need the training. They need the familiarization. Throwing a dog in a place like the White House complex, just the variables there are, are, are countless. The dogs just need they need the right training. They need. You know, they need to be around those people. They need to get used to things. When a dog bites seven times, can you retrain it to be in that environment? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely, you can. I mean, these these dogs bite by by nature, even from overseas. They're taught to bit, bite almost from birth, and we get them, train them to bite, 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 bite. I can get him. You know, I can walk him through every room in the White House, off leash, off muzzle, around thousands of people, and he won't be aggressive towards a single person. And I can turn around and send him. Uh, you know, on an apprehension in, in the same scenario, and he can go back and forth. So you you can absolutely do it. It's just like anything else. You got to put in the time. You got to put in the effort. You got to put in put in the hours. There's a million different variables that come into it. But yes, you if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same result. So hopefully from now on, you know, there'll, there'll be some changes made. And like I said, those Secret Service dog trainers are the best in the world. I would definitely uh, use their skills and their knowledge and, and, get, and get them in there to help out.